Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is mainly for a plasma cutter, but some of my laser people might uh, get a little information off of it. He wanted to reduce the notes. First of all, your page size is only... So get used to doing 48 by 48, because that's the standard uh, size for a uh, plasma table. Uh, some of them are twice that big, but... I only draw in 48 by 48 because I've never cut out full sheets. Now this would, so what his problem was, he wants to reduce the nodes. But the problem is, and especially in plasma cutter, these lines aren't connected. There's a bunch of lines. So we need to get all those lines together. If we take the pick tool and select it all, and then hit the shape tool, you'll see that there's 237 objects in there. Go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and watch from 237. I've got mine set on point 0.1, so it won't close any gaps that it shouldn't close. I guess I need to select them with the pick with the shape tool. Hit apply. 237 objects. Now we got 92 objects. Now we can reduce the nodes by 20% and it reduced a lot of nodes. You can't really tell what nodes it deleted. So we're gonna back up here for a second and we're gonna take that line. That line has, that line alone has 85 nodes. If we go up here and reduce it by 20, which is not a magical number, but it's one I've used before. Now it reduces it only 39 nodes. So this would cut out quite well, uh, but like I said before, I, I failed to nudge that over. So let me just back up here and get it all one piece again. And you've got to think about when it cuts out this entire outside line like that, Everything else in the middle is going to fall out. It's just the way it is. I don't care if it's laser cutting or plasma cutting or, you know, even uh, water jet cutting. The inside is going to fall out. And then when you cut this other line, you know, even if it cut the other line first, those axe heads are going to fall out. The helmet, the respirator is all going to fall to the floor, even if it cut these first. And it'd be a shame to make all those cuts. Now, the other thing I noticed, some of these cuts, especially for a plasma cutter, are really little. I mean, that's, it's hard to say what really size it is, thickness. So let's kind of turn it on its axis and measure it. You're asking a lot to go from there to there. We're less than an eighth of an inch thick. That could possibly cut, but it's gonna do a lot of burning. So, I don't really know how to tell you to fix this file. It is cool. There is ways to fix it. And, but there's so much going on. I'll take a look at it and maybe possibly make a second video. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.